Let's get to the futures here, and then we'll visit with Todd Horowitz of Bubba Trading in just a moment. July corn right now down five and a half at 449 and a quarter. Over on that new crop, December, we're down six and three quarters at 461 and three quarters, still off of the low of 456 and three quarters. Now on to the uh, soybean market we go. The July is steady at 912 and three quarters. September steady, November's also steady, so a very, very quiet soybean trade. Not the case, though, for the Chicago wheat market. Right now, uh, July Chicago wheat down 9.5 at 5.30. Kansas City wheat for the July contract down 10.5 at 4.65. So this wheat market, and even in the Minneapolis wheat market, we're lower. This wheat market really losing ground. July down 4 and 3 quarters in the Minneapolis, 5.55.5. The cotton market earlier in the day just kind of drifting along, and then now we're up 61 points at 66.24. For the July, the December up 82 points, 67.24. Let's turn our attention now to Todd Horowitz, Bubba Trading, who joins us now. Todd, uh, kind of a big deal. Everybody's kind of watching tomorrow. We'll see what the ECB has to say. Good morning, John. Yeah, well, we had the ECB this morning that at 3 o'clock in the morning our time, decided to say that they're going to do whatever it takes. That sent the stock markets, equity markets, soaring higher because they're going to cut rates and go lower, which I think might force the Federal Reserve's hands tomorrow and force them to cut to keep up with the dollar. As you saw, the dollar was lower and then jackrabbited higher after that announcement. So then we had President Trump come out and say, uh, that A, it's unfair what they're doing. Of course, we can go ahead and cut rates. It's okay here. But then also he mentioned about China, which then sent grains spiking higher only to again, again fail, which just shows that I think that the grain markets have some room to come to the downside. For sure, corn and wheat. Now, again, we still like them and want to buy them. I'm just looking for better levels to enter and buy more. I think soybeans yesterday broke out to the top end of the range, which is why they're so quiet today, not moving heavily to the downside. It looks like they're on the top end of, of support now and look to go higher. So at the end of the day, I think the grain markets continue to go higher, but I think in corn and wheat, for sure, we knew, do need to see a little bit of a pullback, and I would be looking at 440 basis September before I'd actually step in and buy more. What about all these money managers and the fund money? Uh, when it has all of this volatility on the outside markets, do they traditionally turn to the ags? Well, they would traditionally turn to ags when when the equities are going down. Now, the equities are looking to try to make brand new highs. You know, we're up about 400 and some points today in equities. So it's not a surprise that the grains were a little bit lower when this first happened. Of course, they got a little bit of positive news by the potential workings in China. But now you're seeing money come back out again, and I think they're chasing up equities right now. But, of course, look at the rally we've had in grains. We're due a little bit of a pullback yet. We've come from, you know, 341 corn to 450 in July. I mean, that's a pretty nice little rally. I think we're going higher, but I think we're going lower first. Yep, you make an excellent point. Thank you very much. Always, always good to talk to you, Todd. Have a good afternoon. Todd Horowitz with Bubba Trading. We're going to check in with Chris Summers coming up next here and get the latest on the pork cutouts over this last week. That's straight ahead here on the Market Day Report.